Hey everybody, Sincere here from whoissincere.com. Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this uh, Donald Trump character running for a United States president right now. I think we're overlooking a lot of things about Trump and I think that uh, the media, the way that they're talking about Trump, I mean, come on, we know he's going to be controversial, but um, the way they're talking about him, just, you know, focusing, focusing on this, um, this immigration uh, immigration battle pretty much and you know his comments and you know all that good stuff his racist comments so let's just keep it as it is he's trying to squirm out of it but it is what it is um all of that stuff is really a distraction from what's really going on in the trump campaign and <laughs> and just trump's life you know we have to start looking at the cases that are out there that are against his casinos and you know, if you have, op uh, well, not open civil rights cases, but um, civil rights cases that still haven't really been resolved, they were dismissed instead. But, um, you know, mm, employment discrimination, if you read over this case here, Clemmer versus uh, Trump Entertainment Resorts, you'll find out good information here about, you know, this is just one of the cases. And this is just an area that, you know, I'm from in New Jersey, which is, I live about, well, I'm from about 35 minutes outside of Atlantic City. So, you know, when I go down to Atlantic City, as a matter of fact, we don't even go down to Atlantic City anymore. Atlantic City's terrible. Let me just, you know, keep it real with you. But Trump, you know, his tower sits, you know, tall and proud in the middle of the city. And half of those people that work for him, can't afford much of anything. Let's just keep it real. You know, um, it's a depressed economy in the area where his businesses, um, you know, operate. And <laughs> if he's not willing to address issues right in the city where he's the biggest, uh, possibly the biggest, big, uh, biggest business owner of the city, how can we really expect him to address issues on an international level or even let alone just the national level? So I'm not impressed with Trump. I'm not impressed with uh, his ability to run right now. Um, it just is what it is. That's how I feel about it. So, you know, again, look at the civil civil rights situations that he has going on right now. Um and, and not even the ones going on right now, just the ones of the past also. We have to look at the full picture. We can't let the media dictate to us that he just has this situation going on with uh, him making some comments. Those are not the only situations going on in the Trump camp. He is possibly one of the worst <laughs> presidential nominations um, that you can even consider. So, uh, but... We live in a very racist country. I'm sure that his comments didn't actually hurt him. I'm sure they actually uh, gave him a foothold. <laughs> as sad as that is to say. Um, but it kind of is what it is. So that's just where we live. And I, you know, I hope this man doesn't become president. But, you know, that's all up to not even the American people. That's all up to the establishment. It's up to the American people if we decide to stand up and do something about it. But I'm doubtful about that right now until, you know, America can show me something otherwise. But, um, yeah, pay attention to the whole story. And, hey, listen, if you like stories like this, and um, I just like to do a lot of sideline stories. If you like stories like this, uh, make sure you click on my sponsors below the video. That helps me out, you know, by helping yourself out. I've taken the time to uh, consider some great online opportunities for people that want to make a little bit extra money. So instead of asking you to donate to me, I, I don't like doing that. Um, I ask you to, you know, support one of my sponsors below and um, it'll help to donate and put back into your life as well. So, um, yeah, make sure you also follow me, whoissincere.com, and keep sharing stories like this. Thanks a lot.